Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to our Deathless Tower run. So, this one's against Xin Feng, and we're going to be taking the shortcut, which means we'll be missing one of the shrines, but it's okay because after experiencing the healing house, I realized that what we have left, in terms of what we can get from the shrine upgrades, is not going to help us very much in Yang's fight. And for this fight against Xin Feng, we already have everything we want. So we're just gonna take the quick route here with the elevator card, head it straight down to this mine uh, to speed things up a bit, facilitate our deathless run, and we'll have our first group of enemies once we turn around here. It's a very easy room. The key is we have to grab the knife at the end of this room, which will help us immensely against the mini boss. The knife right here in question. You can use it, it's not gonna break. We have Weapon Mastery, uh, both in terms of our skill tree, as well as the Shrine Upgrades. And we're also not going for any level scores, although they're not going to touch us. Just because we have pretty much everything we want. And there we go. Then as we push ahead, we see the first of two mini-bosses in this area. And both mini-bosses are super easy to kill because as long as you have the charge back fist the with the knife, it's an instant kill. Order who kept for so you see this dark people. brick the or ground area? Just charge right here and stab. And that's instant kill. I'm just going to up our structure here. That's the only thing that I think is slightly useful against Young in the final fight. Since we can no longer use focus, there's no weapon in that fight. And yeah, there's not much to do except for fight him straight up, fair and square. Now this area here is actually where I struggle the most with this Deathless run. Because the area is really crowded. And you end up having to fight three opponents, one with a knife. One who is one of the Lake Sweep girls, and then a guy who just hits really hard, also has a grab move as well. This is the Lake Sweep girl. And sometimes they could corner you, and you just sort of instant die. Now the knife guy is really weak, and I want to borrow his knife, or her knife. He punches hard, make sure you don't get punched. There's a stun on his punch as well. Alright, we got the knife, and that's key, because now we can charge back fists as we build some distance, make sure you don't get kicked. And you can sort of remove one opponent, which one-on-one -on -one we're fine. So it doesn't matter who, just stab one, and then the rest is a piece of cake. And feel free to use all your focus meter, because the next mini boss we have here can also be one shot with the charge back fist with a knife. And there are three machetes in that room. It's a room filled with weapons. So we're just going to move on ahead. And the trick here is when she talks to you, just don't talk back. And the game will wait for you to respond. So on the right there, there's two knife. And then on the far left corner, there's another machete. But we just need one. And don't say anything. Just walk up straight in front of her outside this platform and then charge. And then stab. And that's it. I prefer to take a bow staff into the final fight because we're not going to be charge back fisting the final boss. It's better to just have a weapon that can help us block some of her uh, meteor strikes. Um, her weapon, I think is uh, I think we're going to call it a dual-headed uh, meteor whip. Uh, it's called Liu Xing Trait in Chinese. Usually it's only one head. Uh, or one end. Now, there's three very easy opponents here. Two on the ledge here, and there's one more on the ledge below. So we're just not going to talk over them. But Xinfeng here is missing one arm, and she uses a dual-headed meteor uh, whip. I'm going to call it that. And it's not very feasible as a weapon in real life. I think most versions of the weapon became one-headed uh, later on during, like, say, the Qing Dynasty. 
because it's just so hard to use a dual headed one. So we have the level score now. I'm going to pick up the one where if we avoid, we regain no some of our way. structure. This must be it. For whom does the bell toll? You want revenge. And to restore that which once was. But that suffering, it was for something. Yours, mine, even Yang's. We did something for the people. We shared. You want to erase it all? The bell tolls for you. The Guardian's legacy. Now, accept your sentence. Now, this is a super easy boss, and I take it very chill here in the first stage where we just dodge. It's two forward ground sweep, and I don't want to use the stick. She's an old lady. Every time she takes a fall, it's a lot of structure damage, and I was just thinking I can just keep dodging. So it's either up, forward, down, or forward, forward, down. Up. When I say down, you want to dodge up. She does have a left, right, like left, right sweep and down. So easy to dodge, and you can see our focus meter is building up quite easily. And once it's full, we're charged in, and I'm just trying to preserve the stick. I want the stick for the second part of the fight. You can see two sweeps, and she's ready two third of the way there. It's going a little faster. Doesn't matter. And if we start making mistakes, we can always use the stick whenever we want. We just gotta dodge maybe like two, three sets. Oh, oops. Yeah, mistake happens. And will happen again, I'm sure. Now I'm just gonna wait for one more focus. That move always gets me. That charge forward one on the first one. Anyways. That was an accident. It's alright, we heal fully once we get through this. And with the third low leg sweep, down she goes. Now this stage design is awesome. Uh, we mentioned in the first time we saw this stage, the two lions with the cub in one hand, the globe in the other. The fact that we have this gong in the sky, which is a circular image, and the ground is a square image. It goes with the Chinese philosophy of uh, the earth represented by a square, the heaven represented by a circle, which is why the coins are shaped like that as well, with the circle on the outside, the square on the inside, and the fact that she's gold. And she talks about bail tolling and uh, justice, and she's holding these two meteor whips, sort of like uh, balance. The combination is very similar still. She likes to end in a leg sweep, and you just gotta dodge that one. And that was just left, right, left. And you can see our bow staff's only half there now. We can start preparing to throw it away. But the reason why this fight's so easy is because she's old. She takes structure damage so fast with the leg sweep. That we just need to dodge a few things, and she's almost gone. You can see we haven't done much health damage, but the structure is just not there, and all her attack ends with the low leg sweep, so it's very predictable. Even if you mess up, you know she's gonna try to finish with a low leg, and that's it. Quick and easy, Deathless the tower run. Now of course, in the future when we come back to do the sparing run, and we'll do that in Chinese dub of course, we'll do the full tower because we have to use the USB gained from a different place on her computer upstairs. So we'll save that for that opportunity. Now we have to get through Yang, uh, whether Deathless or not I haven't decided, but that's the goal. So see you guys then, bye!